Question number one, which of the following as a service types are best aligned with serverless computing? Option A. Infrastructure. Option B. Software. Option C. Platform. Option D. Database. The correct answer is, Option C. Platform. Platform as a service is associated with the development and design of applications. Serverless computing, like PUS, focuses on the creation of lightweight applications that are event-based functions, set off by a trigger. Serverless applications are fully supported by the cloud service provider except for the application development functionality. IaaS is incorrect as infrastructure alone is not enough to support a serverless environment. It is the underpinning of the serverless capabilities though. SaaS is software delivered by another vendor, a third party, it is not applicable to serverless computing. Database as a service is not a formal architectural option to consider. The next question is, which of the following best describes a deployment and management service allowing Azure cloud administrators to create, update, and delete resources in a provisioned account? Option A. Azure Resource Monitor. Option B. Azure Resource Manager. Option C. Azure Region Manager. Option D. Azure Region Monitor. The correct answer is, Option B. Azure Resource Manager. Azure Resource Manager is a deployment and management service that allows cloud administrators to create, update, and delete resources in a provisioned account. One might use features such as access controls, locks, and tags to secure and organizeize resources after deployment with Azure Resource Manager. Keep in mind that within the Resource Manager, you'll find numerous templates that define one or more resource to deploy to resource groups, subscriptions, management groups, or tenants. The template might be used as a way to deploy resources using a schedule or incidentally. The next question is, review the following scenario and select the most appropriate response. A virtual machine, which is a platform as a service offering, requires end-user maintenance and support for specific operating system features and functions. Option A. Infrastructure as a service. Option B. Platform as a service. Option C. Software as a service. Option D. No correction required. The correct answer is, Option A. Infrastructure as a service. A virtual machine is an infrastructure as a service offering. End-user maintenance and system support are required to continue to provide end-user support. The next question is, select the response that best fits the questions. Option A. True, true, true. Option B. True, false, true. Option C. False, false, true. Option D. False, false, false. The correct answer is, Option C. False, false, true. False. You need to authorize any changes before Cloud Advisor can update where automation is offered. False. Azure Monitor, not Azure Advisor, offers visibility into system-wide outages. True. Azure allows you to postpone updates up to 90 days. The next question is, which of the following Microsoft Network Security products utilize IP addresses and domains data to protect victims of attacks? The data collected becomes part of the Microsoft Threat Intelligence feed. Option A. Azure DDoS Basic. Option B. Azure Security Center. Option C. Azure Firewall. Option D. Azure Dedicated Hosts. The correct answer is, Option C. Azure Firewall. Azure Firewall includes all of the features described. Azure Firewall is a service that can be accessed from Azure Secure Center, but it does not directly integrate such features. The next question is, which of the following is not a sovereign region? Option A. Azure Public Cloud. Option B. Azure Government Cloud. Option C. Azure Germany Cloud. Option D. Azure China Cloud. The correct answer is, Option A. Azure Public Cloud. Azure Public Cloud is the only cloud listed that is not part of an Azure sovereign region. The next question is, which of the following service lifecycle states offer products and services SLA support? Option A. Private Preview. Option B. Public Preview. Option C. General Availability. Option D. All of the above. The correct answer is, Option C. General Availability. 
Since private and public preview do not require Microsoft to provide an SLA since it is still in beta and cannot guarantee 100% working conditions, only general availability is accurate. The next question is, when an administrator shuts off a virtual machine instance, which of the following statements regarding operational costs is accurate? Option A. Even though you are shutting off the virtual machine, you are still charged to keep the instance, including the storage operational. Option B. While you may not pay for operating the virtual machine, you will still be charged for the storage in use until deleted. Option C. Once a virtual machine is turned off, you do not pay for any additional fees. Option D. If the virtual machine is inactive, you are charged a subscription fee for inactivity use per virtual instance of $5 per day per VM. The correct answer is, option B. While you may not pay for operating the virtual machine, you will still be charged for the storage in use until deleted. B is the best choice. You will still need to pay for storage regardless of a VM being active or inactive when managing an IaaS instance. The next question is, answer the following question by selecting yes or no to these three questions. Option A. No, yes, yes. Option B. No, no, yes. Option C. Yes, yes, no. Option D. Yes, no, no. The correct answer is, option B. No, no. Yes. No. Only select users associated with federal, state, and local agency credentials can host a virtual machine on a government hosting environment such as DoD East. No. The regional pair for US DoD East is US DoD West. The pair must be a complementary pair to the DoD or Gov instance. East US is not complementary. Yes. The regional pair for US East is US West. The next question is, which of the following is a PaaS-based non-relational Azure database offering? Option A. Azure database for PostgreSQL. Option B. Azure database for MySQL. Option C. Azure Cosmos DB. Option D. Azure SQL Server Managed Instances. The correct answer is, option C. Azure Cosmos DB. Azure Cosmos DB is a NoSQL, non-relational, PAS based Azure database offering. The next question is, review the following scenario and replace the word you believe is inaccurate with one of the following choices. Azure CLI incorporates both Bash and PowerShell using the browser-based experience. Option A. Azure Cloud Shell. Option B. ARM Templates. Option C. Azure PowerShell. Option D. The statement is accurate. The correct answer is, Option A. Azure Cloud Shell. A user can access both PowerShell and Bash command line tools from Cloud Shell only. The next question is, defense in depth is analogous to what type of building? Option A. House. Option B. Castle. Option C. Apartment building. Option D. Boat. The correct answer is, Option B. Castle. Defense in depth is analogous to a castle. As stated earlier in the chapter, if your castle didn't have any locks on it, any individual could simply go to a door, open it, and grab some data. If you add defensive layers, though, there are moats to act as protective casings that help create a set of checks and balances for those coming in and out of the castle. The next question is, which Microsoft Document Repository centrally houses all the security, privacy, and compliance information about Azure? Option A. Azure Blueprints. Option B. Trust Center. Option C. Cloud Adoption Framework. Option D. Azure Sovereign Regions. The correct answer is, Option B. Trust Center. Trust Center handles all the security, privacy, and compliance information for Microsoft Azure. The next question is, correct the following statement, should it be needed. Public preview is limited to select Azure users who can beta test a product during development, as they are given access by Microsoft. Such users must actively provide feedback to product development. Option A. Private preview. Option B. General availability. Option C. Service lifecycle. Option D. The current term is correct. The correct answer is, option A. Private preview. Private previews are limited to select Microsoft users who beta test a product during development. 
The next question is, in order to assure that an organization has a commitment from its cloud service provider for guaranteed uptime, service reliability, and continuous operations, a service level agreement is signed to ensure what? Option A. Principle of economic scale. Option B. High availability. Option C. Disaster recovery. Option D. Agility. The correct answer is, option B. High availability. High availability is the best selection, because it ensures that systems depending on a service provider can operate continuously without failing. The next question is, how long does a user have access to a free Azure account features before one must pay for services under a pay-as-you-go plan? Option A. 30 days. Option B. Free forever. Option C. One year. Option D. Until the $200 credit is spent. The correct answer is, option C. One year. In contrast, Microsoft gives users the first 30 days to spend $200 toward Azure Cloud Premium features. All free account features are available for up to one year before an account is automatically converted to a pay-as-you-go account. The next question is, when you are looking to implement a development virtual machine instance with excess storage in a particular region at a significantly reduced rate, what would you need to select during the configuration process of your virtual machine instances? Option A. Snapshots. Option B. Images. Option C. Scale sets. Option D. Spot instances. The correct answer is, option D. Spot instances. An Azure Spot instance allows you to run a cost-optimized virtual machine in Azure when excess capacity is available in a particular region. Once capacity is no longer available, the instance is deallocated. The next question is, review the following scenario and replace the word you believe is inaccurate with one of the following choices. Azure Portal allows for either the use of the home page or custom dashboards as a way for users to interact with cloud resources throughout the platform. Option A. Azure Monitor. Option B. Azure IoT Central. Option C. Azure Machine Learning. Option D. The statement is accurate. The correct answer is, option D. The statement is accurate. Only this option offers users two ways to expose all features in Microsoft Azure. The next question is, complete the following statement. Network security groups have a priority between dash. Rules with dash numbers are given greater attention. Option A. 100 to 4096, lower priority. Option B. 1000 to 4096, lower priority. Option C. 100 to 4096, higher priority. Option D. 1000 to 4069, lower priority. The correct answer is, option A. 100 to 4096, lower priority. The range is bound from 100 to 4096, and lower ranking order gets preference. The next question is, complete the following statement by selecting the correct term. Dash are documents that do not exist natively in Azure. They are stored either locally or in source control. Templates are used for deployments for one or more Azure resources. Option A. Azure Policy. Option B. Resource Tags. Option C. ARM Templates. Option D. Azure Blueprints. The correct answer is, option C. ARM Templates. ARM Templates are document-based, not Azure Blueprints. With Azure Blueprints, they are stored in Azure Cosmos D.